Urgent Arsenal fan look what just happened. Nobody was waiting for this, huh? Before, subscribe to the channel, because here there are videos every day with the latest news from the Arsenal and to don't miss any of it, don't forget to activate the notification bell. Arsenal willing to pay 75 million euros to sign 25-year-old star. The Gunners are in the market for a star center forward and have often been linked with Osman after missing out on Benjamin Sesko. The Nigerian star currently has a release clause worth 120 million euros, 101 million pounds, in his contract, and Napoli are certain they will not offer him a discount. Journalist Walter De Maggio has now revealed that Osman has a monstrous offer from Saudi Arabia, but has no desire to move to the Middle East. He added that Arsenal are interested in his services but are not willing to spend more than 75 million euros. He said, via Calcio Napoli 24, from what we understand, despite the monstrous offer from the Arab League, Victor does not want to go to Saudi Arabia. And Arsenal in the Premier League don't value him at 120 million euros, but at just over half, 75 million euros. Osman has been linked with a move to the Premier League for several years. He seems determined to make the switch in the current transfer window. Chelsea were initially considered candidates to sign him, but withdrew from the race after failing to finalize personal terms through his agent. Consequently, Arsenal are the favourites to land his signature among English clubs, but they are unlikely to spend too much to sign the 25-year-old striker. Osman scored 31 goals in 39 appearances for Napoli in 2022-23, but his tally dropped to 17 goals in 32 games last season due to various injury problems. The striker, who was described as world-class by Fenerbahce coach Jose Mourinho last season, missed more than 10 games due to three different injuries. Pause this news, just to say that if you want YouTube to continue recommending the latest news from the Arsenal for you, then it is very important that you already leave a like on this video. It cost. Let's continue with the news. He was also absent from duty in Nigeria this month after suffering a further setback at his club. Osman's injury history is a potential warning sign for the Gunners. With this in mind, they are right in their stance of not paying more than 75 million euros. Sporting Lisbon's Victor Gyokeris is available for a fee of more than 100 million euros, 85 million pounds, but could be a better acquisition as he has never been injured in his career. The Swede was sensational for Sporting last season with 43 goals in all competitions. Arsenal have reportedly entered the race to sign Girona striker Artem Dobic this summer. The Ukrainian was in excellent form for the La Liga side last season. He scored 25 goals and provided 10 assists in all competitions. His form has caught the attention of the Gunners and Girona's Diari claims they are considering a potential approach for his services. The same media outlet claims that Girona are aware of the growing interest, but are unlikely to give the 26-year-old a discount. Dobic currently has a release clause of between 40 to 50 million euros based on the league and Girona are eyeing something close to that amount. Arsenal are determined to sign a striker with a goal-scoring presence. Dobic would be a smart signing due to his presence in the box. The Ukrainian converted almost 30% of his shots into goals last season. This is much higher than any other player in the Arsenal squad. He would be a quality signing for the club, without spending too much. Why Arsenal should prioritize signing a winger over a striker this summer. You don't need to search far for links between Arsenal and viable strikers this transfer window. The idea that Arteta's squad is a quality number 9, short of being capable of dominating, both domestically and in Europe, is a popular notion, but there is a better way to spend the club's money during the sunny season. The best way involves adding a wingman. Preferably, a player versatile enough to also play in the middle, if necessary. This flexibility would be useful, but not essential. Not compared to relieving some of the pressure on Saka. Arsenal's world-class winger is a marked man because so much of the gunner's attacking play goes through him. However, talent is not the only reason for the favoritism shown to the talented number 7 on the right. There is another reason why Arsenal continue to have Saka at the top. 
the club does not have a star of similar stature at left back. Gabriel Martinelli has the raw capacity to be as good as Saka, but injuries and a different playing style have hampered the Brazilians' progress at crucial moments. Martinelli's stalled development left the door open for top scorer Leandro Trossard, and there was a good reason why the tribute to Belgian Freddy Ljungberg was so warmly received by fans. Even casual observers of this Arsenal team can see that Saka's confidence is reaching dangerously high levels. To quote investment jargon, the Gunners are overweight to the right and could use some diversification. Fortunately, there are some intriguing candidates on the market who seemingly catch Arteta's attention. The Gunners could sign a new winger. Athletic Bilbao's Nico Williams is interesting, although his salary could be a hindrance. Mikel Arteta spoke of Arsenal's need to create moments of magic in attack and Crystal Palace winger Michael Aulis is a player in the market who could provide them. Of the two, Athletic Bilbao's Jewel Williams is the more intriguing. The 21-year-old Spanish international has the mercurial mix of direct pace and mischievous trickery that all truly famous wingers possess. Having Williams spin and turn freely to the left would divert some attention from the other side. Defenses would be stretched beyond the limit by two players prepared to maintain width and call those few blades of grass the live side of the touchline. More than doubling the Saka effect, putting the winger on the transfer market would also preserve the unpredictability in the middle that made Arsenal prolific in front of goal last season. Thierry Henry isn't worrying about being at the top of the club's scoring charts, while Kai Havertz plays as a striker. However, the German added much more than goals as he became the full-time focal point of Arsenal's fluid attacking line. Havertz, the striker in name only, offered varied and subtle movements. His willingness to drift left was Henry-esque, while Havertz dropping in front was reminiscent of Robin van Persie. Havertz became difficult to track, while his darts this way and that gave Arsenal a shape-changing quality at the edge of the pitch. He created space for Saka and Trossard to fire from outside to inside, while Declan Rice could advance through midfield. The beauty of this dynamic is that Havertz is just one part of Arsenal's Rubik's Cube. Gabriel Jesus is another true number 9 who is at his best, spinning deeper or roaming wide. Even Trossard gave a reasonable impression of a false 9. It's obvious that the Gunners have enough strikers to keep opponents guessing and stay in goal. The defense of keeping what he has in position is only reinforced by another look in Martinelli's direction. Incredible straight line speed and keen eye for goal mean the 22 year old's future will certainly be as a striker even though he's not short of a trick. Signing a winger this summer could help Arteta begin Martinelli's transition into central areas. The two-pronged approach would also be more cost-effective than going all-in on the latest hit sensation. Not that Arteta was a bargain hunter, but he established his managerial credibility with excellent work developing wingers Raheem Sterling and Leroy Sane for Manchester City. Arteta continued in the same way, making Saka his pride and joy. Now is the time to find another precocious striker.